Hi guys, so this video will introduce the essay one prompt and uh, we will go over the intro and thesis, the outline, um, and where to submit your rough draft and final draft, okay? So we're in the 827 folder and you'll notice here um, in your task list that you'll um, also want to look at all of these things in this module, okay? So I have the essay one prompt open so we can go ahead and take a look at it. So the kind of theme of this essay one is the importance of role models, okay? So your intro and thesis is going to actually be due this Sunday, this coming Sunday. Uh, your initial draft will be due next Sunday, the third, and the final draft will be due in two weeks, September 10th, okay? Your paper is gonna be one and a half to two pages. And here's your assignment. So success can mean different things to individual people. Some people see success as graduating college or making a lot of money or getting married or reaching a professional goal. For this essay, you are going to develop your specific definition of success. Then you will write a personal essay stating your definition of success and describing a person that you personally know, know well who exemplifies this type of success. For an example essay, review my favorite teacher on page 102 to 104 in your course textbook. So this essay is kind of like a model text for you. Um, you will read my favorite teacher and then kind of get an idea of how to formulate your own paper. But essentially in your intro, you're going to provide background information about how you know the person you chose and write a clear thesis that directly states what your definition of success is. And then in each body paragraph, you should, uh, it should be a reason that your chosen person fulfills your definition of success and you'll provide specific examples that illustrate your person exemplifying success and then your conclusion will provide an overall significant statement. What did or does this person teach you? Okay, so that's kind of the uh, nuts and bolts of essay one, but let's get into the individual assignments here. So we can go to the essay one intro and thesis. Okay, so here's the instructions. You're going to submit your introductory paragraph, including your thesis. So you're going to, for your intro, have your background info about how you know the person and have a clear thesis that states what your definition of success is. Your intro paragraph needs to be a minimum of four sentences and be polished and accurate for accurate grammar. You can submit your paragraph as a text entry or as a document file. Okay, so um, you'll see a link here up here that says submit assignment. So you will just simply um, either copy and paste your paragraph into the text entry option or you will submit a doc, docx, or PDF file um, into the document file option. Okay, so you will submit that for um, August 27th, okay, at 11.59 p.m. So that's the first assignment in the Unit 1 series, okay, and then we will get into the initial draft, which will be due 9-3, September 3rd. Notice your draft is worth 50 points, okay, um, there's a few steps and there is a video on how to complete peer reviews on Canvas. So I do want you to watch that so you can see exactly what I'm explaining in the instructions. The video does a really good job of explaining everything. Um, but your draft must be complete. Okay, read all the instructions here. It must meet the minimum page requirement. Um, the goal is to have about an hour of work left to finish your draft um, after you receive your feedback. So step one, you will simply post your draft. It will say submit assignment. You will post your draft there. And then for step two, this is where it gets a little bit more intricate. You are going to copy and paste the following questions into a Word doc or a Google doc. And if you scroll down, you'll see the questions here. So you will copy and paste just like I'm doing now. You will copy and paste all of these questions here into a Word document or a Google doc file. Okay, and then you will answer these questions according to your peer's paper. So you'll leave the format exactly the way it is. You copy and paste the questions, and then you are simply going to fill in the questions um, with the answers according to you, what you read from your peer's paper. Okay, so it explains it all here. You'll open your peer's drafts, um, and it tells you how to do that, and then respond to each question. Once you've answered all the questions, attach your responses by clicking attach file under the comment box on your peer's paper screen. So you'll need to save that Word document or Google Drive file. If it's a Google Doc, be sure to convert it to a PDF, okay, as it says here, 
and you will attach it to your peer's um, essay according to these instructions. Attach your responses by clicking on Attach File under the comment box on your peer's paper screen. In order to get to your peer's paper screen, okay, um, you will see their paper on the right hand side of the screen under peer reviews right here. So you'll be able to click on your peers papers once they're submitted. Okay. And again the video explains exactly how to do that. Okay. And then step three if you'd like to you can comment directly on your peers paper by using the tools shown in the video above. Okay. So do be sure again the very first thing you should do when you get to the rough draft uh, assignment page is to watch this video so everything makes sense. Um, so your draft is due Sunday by 11.59 on September 3rd, and then your responses to your peers are due Monday, September 4th by 11.59 p.m. Okay, so it says that here. You'll get 30 points for your draft and 10 points each for the peer responses. Okay, and we will do all the peer responses the exact same way. So once you kind of figure out the system for the first one, the rest of them should be really easy. So that's the rough draft. And then the last thing you'll do is submit the final draft, right? And that will be due 910. So all you do is, collect, is click Submit Essay 1, and then there will be a link up here that says Submit Assignment. Make sure it's a document file or a PDF, and you just hit Submit. All right? And so that is essentially everything you'll need to complete Essay 1 and all the smaller assignments that go along with it. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me.